Hey everyone, it's Amit Kumar Ghosh here, software development engineer, mentor, and vice president at Scholar Hat. Have you ever wondered how senior programmers write code? Do they just magically whip up perfect lines of code on the first try? Spoiler alert, they don't. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you the real deal. Grab your coffee, sit back, and let's dive in. You know, there's this myth that senior programmers are these coding wizards who can solve any problem with a snap of their fingers. But in reality, it is not just about typing fast or knowing everything single function in the Java library. It's about a structured approach, planning and constantly refining their skills. So let's break down the process step by step. Second, planning and design. Before writing a single line of code, senior programmer spend a significant amount of time planning and designing. It's like preparing a blueprint before building a house. They use tools like flowcharts, UML diagrams, and even simple sketches to map out their ideas. Imagine you're building a basic online store. Instead of diving into the code immediately, you start with a flowchart, user login, product catalog, shopping cart, checkout process, and so on. This helps in visualizing the project and identifying potential issues early on. Use tools like Lucidchart or Draw.io for creating your diagrams. It makes the process smoother and helps in communicating your ideas with the team. Planning isn't just about drawing pretty pictures. It's about thinking through the logic, identifying the components, and understanding how they interact. The step is crucial for writing maintainable and scalable code. Third, writing clean and maintainable code. Now let's talk about writing clean and maintainable code. This is where the magic happens and by magic, I mean a lot of discipline and best practices. Principle of clean coding. First, that is naming convention. Use descriptive and meaningful names for variables, functions, and classes. Second, dry. Don't repeat yourself. Avoid duplicating code create reusable functions and modules. Third, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Write simple and straightforward code. Complexity is the enemy. Four, YAGNI. You aren't gonna need it. Don't add features until you need them. See the difference? In the second example, the variable name, some clearly describe its purpose making the code more readable. Here's a pro tip for you. Refactor your code regularly. It's like tidying up your room. It might seem tedious, but it keeps your code base clean and manageable. Fourth, code review and pair programming. Code reviews are an integral part of a senior programmer's workflow. It's just about finding mistakes. It's about improving the overall quality of the code. How to conduct effective code review? First is be respectful. Always be polite and constructive in your feedback. Second, be specific. Point out exact lines and explain why something needs to be changed. Third, learn and share. Treat reviews as a learning opportunity for both parties. Let's say your colleague submitted a pull request for a new feature. Instead of saying this is wrong, you could say, I noticed you used a loop here, but our stream might be more efficient. Pair programming. Pair programming is another fantastic technique. It's like having a second set of eyes on your code. Catching error, you might miss and learning from each other. Benefit of pair programming. First is improve code quality. Two minds are better than one. Second, knowledge sharing. Learn new techniques and approaches from your partner. Third, fast problem solving. Tackle complex issues together. Use tools like Visual Studio Code, LiveShare, or JetBrains Code with me 
for effective remote pair programming sessions. Fifth, testing and debugging. Testing and debugging are non-negotiable. Senior programmers prioritize write tests to ensure their code works as expected. So there are types of tests there. First is unit test, test individual components. Second one is integration test, test how component work together. Third is end-to-end -end test, test the entire application flow. Example in Java using JUnit. Here you can see it. Here we are testing a simple addition function by writing tests. We can catch errors early and ensure our code behaves as expected. Debugging techniques. First is printing statement. Simple but effective for quick debugging. Second one is breakpoints. Use ID features to pause and inspect your code. Third one is logs. Maintain logs for more complex debugging and tracking issues in production. Here's a pro tip for you. Invest time in learning your ID's debugging tool. It will save your countless hours in the long run. Sixth point, continuous learning and improvement. Senior programmers are perpetual learners. The tech industry evolves rapidly and staying updated is crucial. So how to stay updated? Read books and blogs. Follow industry leaders and read their publications, attend conferences and webinars. Network with other professionals and learn about the latest trends. Take online courses. Platform like ScholarHunt, Coursera and Audacity offers valuable courses. Recommend resources are in the books you can read Clean Code by Robert C. Martin, Effective Java by Joshua Blosh. In blogs, Martin Flower, Kent Beck and Joel on Software. Here's a pro tip for you. Set aside at least 30 minutes a day for learning something new. It adds up over time and keeps you sharp. 7. Collaborating and communicating with the team. Communication is the key in any successful project. Senior programmers, you know how to collaborate effectively with the team. So here is the first tool you have. Slack for real-time communication. Jira for project management and tracking tasks. Confluence for documentation and knowledge sharing. Here's the best practices you can follow. Be clear and concise. Avoid jargons and be straightforward. Listen actively. Pay attention to your teammates' inputs. Document everything. Keep through documents for future reference. Regularly check in with your team, especially in remote settings. It fosters a sense of unity and keeps everyone on the same page. Eight, balancing work and life. Work-life balance is often overlooked, but incredibly important. Senior programmers manage their time wisely to avoid burnouts. Here are some time management tips there. Set boundaries. Define your working hour and stick to them. Take breaks, short breaks, throughout the day can boost productivity. Pursue hobbies. Engage in activities outside of the work to relax and recharge. Use techniques like Promodo technique to manage your time effectively. Work for 25 minutes, then take five minutes break. Nine, real world applications and examples. Real world experience is invaluable. Let me share a couple of stories from my journey. During a project at a startup, we had a tight deadline to launch a new feature. By planning meticulously and collaborating closely, we delivered on time and with zero bugs. The key was clear, communication and thorough testing. Lesson, each project teach you something new. Embrace the challenges and learn from them. So there you have it. The secret of how senior programmers actually write code. It's not about being a coding wizard. It's about planning, writing clean code, testing, and constantly learning. 
I hope this insights help you in your coding journey. Share your own tips and experience in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more content like this. Thanks for watching and happy coding.